Oh, it is time, y'all. It is finally time. This uh, video has been seven years in the making. And I haven't done this video purposefully because I just didn't want to know for me personally. So today we are going to talk about shards. Uh, more importantly, shard packs and how probability and chance work in any video game that does not have any sort of a pity system. Now, we do have a pity system in Dungeon Defenders 2. That pity system is the shard vendor. Um, spending your defender medals on shards is the pity system in the game, and it was not something that was in the game before. Now, we're going to discuss some uh, cold hard facts and numbers here on this one. So, if you are someone who just wants to blissfully grind away and not know the truth or the stats on your chance of getting the shard that you're looking for from a shard pack that drops in a map, then now would be the time to click away. Now, here we go. Let's just jump right into it. Um, it's been a little over seven years now since shards were introduced into Dungeon Defenders 2. In the entirety of that time, I have heard the statement along the lines of, I don't understand. There is, uh, what, 45 possible shards in Chaos 4 shard packs. I've opened 50 shard packs now, and I still have not gotten a defense rate. And that is because if it's a 1 in 45 chance, that is your odds. That is not probability. Um, odds are based off of every single draw you are going with that 1 in 45 chance. So say you open a Chaos 4 shard pack, or say you open 10 Chaos shard, uh, 4 shard packs, and you get 3 Caustic Oils. Well, when you open shard pack number 11, Caustic Oil has the exact same chance of being there again as there is of defense rate being there, as the shards don't get removed from the pool as you draw out a shard. So, no matter what, every time, it is the exact same percentage. So, some, if something has a 1% chance to drop, if you do it a hundred times, that does not mean you're going to get that 1% item because it's a 1% chance to drop every single time. In this particular case with Chaos 4, uh, it's got 45 total shards in the tier. Um, with that in mind, there's a 2.222222% chance of getting your defense rate shard. So if there's a 2% chance of getting your defense rate shard, the most important thing to remember there, and it's one of those hard truths, is that there is a 98% chance you are not going to get it. That number does not change. Every individual pool in this situation, there's going to be just over a 2% chance to get the shard, and there's going to be just under a 98% chance to not get the shard that you're looking for. So it's important to keep that in mind. It can be quite frustrating. But seeing uh, 20 shards in a pack does not mean if you open 20 packs, you're going to get one of those shards, as the pity system in the game is the defender medal system. So you're able to buy those shards directly with your defender medals if you have that extreme bad luck. Now we're going to go tier by tier here through all of the shard packs, and we're going to bust it up into four different categories for each chaos tier. Uh, category 1 would be the 50-50, the you got lucky. If it's something's a 50-50 chance of happening and you get it, that means you got lucky. Tier number 2 would be a 75% chance. The uh, 75% chance would be a pretty realistic expectation. Uh, the, the odds are you're probably going to get one, you know, if a thousand people do the same thing. Uh, 750 people are going to have a positive result. Then we'll go with the, oh my god, I'm having a terrible luck. Uh, this would be the 90% chance bracket, so 90% chance for you to get the shard you're looking for. And then we'll go into OMFG, RNG hates me, I suck at life, uninstall the game, and that is the 99.99% chance. Now, one important thing about probability and how it works is there is never a 100% chance with probability, although it would be just insanely rare, 
there is the chance that you could open an unlimited amount of Chaos Force shard packs and never get a defense rate. That always is a possibility out there, um, although it is a super rare chance, it is something that will happen. Now, a few things to note before we jump into it here, um, I am rounding all of these percentage drop chances down to one one hundredth of one percent. Uh, so, for example, in that Chaos 4 example, it's 2.222222, etc. I'm just going with a 2.22% chance just for ease of math. Now, additionally, um, if you want to go through and do the math yourself, you can do this with this formula right here, where X equals the percentage chance for a shard to drop, and Y equals how many shard packs you open. That will give you the percentage chance of getting at least one shard with that many openings. And in addition to that, I am basing all of the math here off of what is shown in game at the shard shop. So with that in mind, uh, we're not going to be doing survival. Um, if you look at all the different shard lists throughout uh, the interwebs with DD2, they're all showing different numbers for each one of these chaos tiers. So we are going off of what's in game. So if there's a shard misplaced in say chaos seven here, or if there's a shard missing from say chaos seven right here, then there will be a variance in the numbers. So starting off in campaign with the standard shard pack, this the campaign shard packs have the fewest number of shard choices available. There's 23 total shards that you can get in campaign shard packs in DD2. So to have a 50% chance of getting one of the shards you're looking for, say you're targeting speed boost, to have a 50% chance of getting speed boost, you're going to have to open about 16 shard packs. You have a 75% chance of getting the, shard, uh, the speed boost shard, you're going to have to open 32 shard packs. To have a 90% chance of getting it, you're going to have to open 52 shard packs. And then the absolute awful end at the 99.99% chance to get the speed boost shard, you're going to have to open 198 shard packs in campaign. Moving on to Chaos 1, this covers Chaos 10 as well as there is the same amount of shards in Chaos 10 as there is in Chaos 1. Chaos 1 has 33 total shards available to choose from. With that in mind, it is a 3.03% chance of getting the shard you're looking for. So say you're grinding out those destruction shards in Chaos 1. If you open 23 Chaos 1 shard packs, you're going to have a 50-50 shot at getting a destruction shard. If you open 46 Chaos 1 shard packs, you're going to have a 75% chance. If you open 75 Chaos 1 shard packs, you are going to have a 90% chance of getting that destruction. And then to get to the 99.99% almost guaranteed, you would have to open 287 Chaos 1 shard packs just to have a 99.99% probability of getting one single destruction shard. Moving on to Chaos 2, Chaos 2 has 41 shards in the pool. With 41 shards in the pool, uh, say you are looking for, um, let's say, current trade-off on your new Aquarian. If you're looking for this one in Chaos 2, you're going to have to open 29 shard packs to have a 50% chance to drop. You're going to have to open 57 shard packs to have a 75% chance to drop. You're going to have to open 94 shard packs to have a 90% chance of getting this specific shard. And that means you're going to have to open 357 shard packs to have a 99.99% chance of getting the current trade-off shard. Moving on at Chaos 3, Chaos 3 also is the same as Chaos 8, as they have the same number of shards available in their pool. So for Chaos 3, let's say you're checking out the Deadly Strikes shard. Uh, you want to get you a Deadly Strikes. 
to have a 50% chance of getting the Deadly Strike Shard, you're going to have to open 31 Shard Packs. To have a 75% chance, you're going to have to open 61 Shard Packs. For a 90% chance, you would have to open 101 Shard Packs. And for a 99.99% chance, you would have to open 384 total Shard Packs to have that near guaranteed chance of getting one Deadly Strike Shard. In Chaos 4, we briefly touched on uh, Defense Rate is a hot item in the game. There's 45 total shards in Chaos 4. This means there's that 2.22% chance to drop. So it's very similar to Chaos 3, yet a little different. At 50%, if you open 31 shard packs, you're going to have that 50% chance to drop. If you took that up a notch and you open 62 shard packs, you'd then have a 75% chance of getting your one defense rate. If you opened 103 shard packs, that would give you a 90% chance of getting one defense rate. And if you opened 393 total Chaos 4 shard packs, you're going to have that near guarantee that you're going to get at least one defense rate shard. Moving on to Chaos 5. Now, Chaos 5 happens to be the worst shard pool in the game. There's more shards in Chaos 5 than there is in any other tier. There's 47 total shards here. With that in mind, there's only a 2.13% chance that you're going to get the shard that you're looking for by opening a Chaos 5 shard pack. Uh, say you're looking for fire for effect for your explosive traps, you would have to open 33 shard packs to have a 50% chance of getting that one shard. You would have to open 65 shard packs to have a 75% chance of getting that one shard, 107 shard packs to have a 90% chance, and then 409 total shard packs for the near guarantee of 99.99% chance to get your one Fire for Effect shard. Chaos 6 is a little bit friendlier at 40 total shards in the pool. So if you look through here, we've got 40 total shards available. Um, say you are looking for uh, boosted power for your boost Dara. That is a very hot shard indeed. To have a 50% chance of getting one boosted power, you're going to have to open 28 total shard packs. For a 75% chance, you'd have to open 55 total shard packs. For a 90% chance, you'd have to open 91 total shard packs. And for that near guarantee, you would have to open 348 total shard packs for a 99.99% chance of guaranteeing that individual shard. Chaos 7 is in the same pool as Chaos 9, a little bit friendlier here. There's 38 total shards in Chaos 7. There is also 38 total shards in Chaos 9, so these will both share the same numbers. Uh, if you're looking for a specific shard here, say Charge Shot, you are going to have a 2.63% chance of getting it each shard pack you open. So to have a 50% chance of getting one of those shards, you're going to need to open 27 shard packs. To have a 75% chance of getting that shard, you're going to have to open 53 shard packs. For the 90% chance, you're going to have to open 87 and then for the near guarantee at 99.9% .9 chance, you would have to open 331 Chaos 7 shard packs to get one charge shot. Now, obviously, this represents the uh, both extremes. Uh, however, as I mentioned, how probability works is there is never a 100% chance to get one. So your only 100% chance of getting a any individual shard in the game ever is to buy that shard directly from the shard shop. I always like to do those shard pack gambles as it's just fun to open them up. 
but it is doing exactly that. It is a straight gamble on whether or not you're going to get anything that you want. So hopefully this didn't ruin anyone's day too badly. Like I said, this has been a long time in the making. I have purposefully not ever done this video, but hopefully this will shine a little light onto why you may have opened 50 shard packs in Chaos 4 and don't have that defense rate shard yet. Uh, that would actually be considered quite normal and not out of the ordinary at all. But thanks an absolute ton for watching. Uh, happy Monday, y'all. Just some fun facts about shard packs in DD2. So thanks again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.